Welcome back to the Full Throttle Project. This is a video that I pulled off of YouTube. It states Season 7 exclusive. This guy seems legit. He was at the Full Throttle and he says that there were signs up saying filming in progress, you may be filmed, and sure enough, Michael, Jesse, and Angie came out with a production crew shooting what looks to be a scene from soon to come season seven. So here you go. I watched both of these individuals, and, 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 and Angie and I both have talked about it. We watched Michael Ballard. He took the biggest kick in the gut anybody could ever kick. Ten million dollars worth of ashes, no insurance, and a lot of hurt feelings is what happened over there. And we watched Michael acknowledged the fire for about one second and then he turned right over to this property dropped some steel and he says we're going to come back bigger than life and twice as ugly and I'll be damned if the man didn't bring this bar up out of the ground he brought it up out of the ground in 90 days 90 days and uh, if you guys could have ever witnessed something spectacular you see all this amazing creation that came out of that noggin and this one too there's a lot of inspiration right here. I can tell you right now, a lot of crazy ideas come out of, out of all of this situation here at the Full Throttle. And so this place came out of the ground in 90 days. And if you could have witnessed it, I mean, it was like this was dirt and prairie. And the next thing you know, there's the, world, the state's largest concert stage in this magnificent seventh wonder of the world, the Full Throttle Saloon. And I could go on and on and on. I. Uh, Again, I, I, I can tell you right now, and this is important for me to make sure that I get out. Michael, Michael spends a lot of time out here in the middle of the night when he can be out here by himself and he walks around and he looks at everything and he gets these ideas. And, and I know that every single turn that he makes, he reflects on the journey that he's made. And it's important to Angie and myself, we, we were both of us, because Michael just he's moving forward all the time. And while he's acknowledged the fire and, he, and he's, he shed his own tears in private, we both feel that it's important because with the bridges being back on the property, and trust me, he's done promised uh, on, the, on the Bible, he promised he'd get, his, uh, get the bridges back up and going next year. So I'm going to be excited about it. But having the bridges on this property, this place is finally feeling like home to us. And we appreciate everything Michael does to give us this party place and this, this home base for Sturgis, South Dakota. But we wanted him to, we both wanted to stop him just one second and let him share this moment of what's behind this curtain with all of our family and friends right here. And I want to hand the microphone over to Angie because I'd like for Angie to share a little bit about, about the same stuff that I'm sharing, but from her perspective and what's behind this curtain. Well, I, I, this is like a surprise, so thank you very much. I have no brain right now, guys. It's Thursday of the rally and I'm... so fascinated with the way she has shifted gears from everything. She turned her attention to the, being a mother and as soon as she got her feet under her, now she's managing both the full throttle and being a mama. So I'm very proud of Angie Ballard. Give it up for Angie. That's very proud of Angie. Incredible woman. Incredible woman. So, Michael's going to tell you what's behind this wall because as Angie said, what's behind this wall is what started the full throttle saloon. Ladies and gentlemen, your host and the full throttle man himself, Mr. Michael Ballard, my brother. Yeah, so it's been a lift, I can tell you that. It's, it's really been a lift for all of us, and uh, I just appreciate everybody that stood behind me the whole way of believing in it, and, and all you guys that made the full throttle the brand that it is today, because without you guys, we wouldn't have a brand. I would have never rebuilt if I would have just been a one-eyed jacks or one of the other bars that are downtown, normal bars. I would have probably never took the challenge to rebuild this place like I did. So just having a loyalty. And as soon as the bar burned down, I got so many emails and so many messages through social media of everybody in the world, from people from Australia, Germany, everywhere, Canada, United States, 
begging me to rebuild. Don't give up. And that is what made the decision to rebuild where we are right now. Was the, was all the fans and all the supporters and all the friends and all the relationships that's been built through the full throttle. There's so many friendships that have been made at this bar. And I tell people all the time, it's one of the few places in the world that you'll go to that you'll see a guy that's 21 years old sitting at the bar having a beer by a man that's 70 years old right beside him and they got something in common. They're sitting out here riding motorcycles together and they're building friendships together and age does not play a part in that world. Politics don't play a part. Age doesn't play a part. And you go to any other city or anywhere, all the bars are segregated by age groups and the type of music they play or whatever. This one is a worship machine of everything. It's one big mix of everything. And it's, it's just awesome to see that take place with young people and older people mixing together. They've got the motorcycles in common. They're riding. They're sharing stories with each other. And then they become lifelong friends forever. So that's the special thing about the Full Throttle Saloon that has made it what it is today. So it really is you guys that come here that make that happen for us. Um, so, okay, I'll move on. What's behind this wall is a lot of years of me collecting motorcycles and just, from the time I was a little kid, my parents bought me a Honda 50. And my mom would tell you today that was the worst mistake she ever made was buying me a Honda 50. Because I've been riding ever since I had that motorcycle. I've been into it. But uh, that motorcycle's actually sitting right back here behind this curtain. And that's the bike that started all this shit. That's what I tell people all the time. So it's here. And then there are a lot of other motorcycles that are here that I've collected over the years. And uh, I had a, a 20, 1921 that's back here. And I always refused to bring it to Sturgis because it was in my house. And uh, the 75th anniversary, yeah, yeah, mint condition, and, and you know, and, and the 75th anniversary was coming around, and I decided to take it, and I brought it out, put it on the wall at the throttle, and damn it, it did burn a month later. And uh, it sucks, but you know what? I, like I said, it, it's been tough. There's probably a couple hundred thousand dollars or more with the motorcycles on this back wall, and, and a lot of time and effort buying bikes throughout the years and making trades with people and. You know, just a collection. This is just part of what I had at the old place. There's more than this, you know, that burned. And, uh, but it, I felt that, you know, it was only right to bring some of that to here because you'll read the sign in the back and it says, you know, you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. And I can be talking about somebody getting an ass whooping. I got an ass whooping over that one over there when it burned, I promise you. But uh, we're here now, we're making headway, and with that, I just, you know, I hope you guys can appreciate everything that's back here that we're gonna let you guys look at, and, and uh, I hope you take a look at that and understand where, you know, where we are and where we're headed. That's the key, is where are we going from here? That's the sign of where we've been, but we're moving forward and we're gonna kick some major ass out here for years to come. So you guys just keep coming back to Sturgis and hanging with us. We love every single one of you. We love you to death, so there you go. We've got 600 acres of off the hook, 600 acres of off the hook beyond Thunderdome for people who love badass motorcycles, beautiful women, and a cold belly washer, which happens to be Full Throttle Saloon Sign and Jesse James Bourbon, and we're very proud of that. So, spread the word. I had someone tell me earlier that coming out here to camp after they camped in other places was an upgrade, and I loved hearing that. We work our ass off to make sure that you're happy and that you have a great experience because we do value each and every one of you. We, we want to keep this Full Throttle family growing and I think right now we need to pull this curtain down and make a special dedication to the full throttle family, the Ballard family, my family, everybody that we just all put our heart and soul into believing in this man right here and everything that's going on with the full throttle. So ladies and gentlemen, you ready to bring down this curtain right here? Yes indeed. Alright. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, If that don't bring a sense of reality here. So it's again, thank you so much for being part of this celebration. I salute Michael Ballard and Angie Ballard. I salute each and every one of you guys. Get ready for the Jackal concert tonight. We're gonna celebrate our military. We're gonna give away a Harley Davidson Road Glide special. We're gonna have a few drinks 
in a damn good time. Thank you guys so much. Pow, pow! And it's a free show courtesy of this man right here. That don't come easy, that way. <laughs>